We're talking water filtration systems today and I'm here with Harold Charters from General Ecology to talk about the new Nature Pure QC system we're going to be fitting to the long term test. Let's talk about General Ecology first of all though, Harold. General Ecology, we've been in business now for 40 years. It's an American company. We've been here based in the UK. Our European office is in Crawley, West Sussex. We've been there for 20 years. This is the Nature Pure system. Tell me more about it. Well, this Nature Pure system here is the one we've been selling in the UK now for 15 years. What you do here, when the flow rate reduces, to replace the cartridge, you will pull the shear rod out and then change the filter element. So this is the new system. This is the new Nature Pure QC. QC denoting quick change. This, all you do then is change the cartridge and that's all you have just there. This has a non-return valve so when replacing the canister you don't require, you don't have to shut anything off. And then you'll just take that and put that on the top and this will always ensure you have safe clean drinking water wherever you're motoring anywhere in Europe or in Africa, anywhere in the world. Because it removes bacteria, doesn't it? This will not only take out bacteria, it'll take viruses, cryptosporidia, giardia, and a host of all contaminants. This will always ensure you have safe, clean drinking water anywhere you're motoring. We're in the kitchen area now, and we're looking at the installation of the water filtration system. You've generally got to fit this system under the sink at the point of use. Harold, where do we go from here? Okay. As I suggested, Rachel, what you're going to do is put this, take three screws, screws, and put this, mount this straight onto the cupboard in the back where you have access. And all you need to be able to do is be able to replace the canister over a period of time. And as I said previously, you'll know when to replace it when the flow rate reduces. But the beauty of this is you don't need tools or anything. All you're going to have to do is screw that right in. Obviously we're fitting this to install it to run in line with the water system but actually there's another way to do it and um, you use a tap Harold. Yes, Tell the majority more. of our customers actually install it with our dedicated tap. All that will require is for you to drill a three quarter inch hole and this will then optimize the drinking water rather than have it come out the existing cold water tap. Hence, the running costs will be lower over a period of time. Because it puts less pressure on the uh, water filter as because you're only using it when you need it. Yes. So now we've talked about it, now we're going to show you how to fit it. We're doing the basic installation today which takes the t cold water from the cold water pipe under the sink into the filter, filters it back out into the cold water pipe and up to the tap. Now let's follow me under the sink. We've already decided on the perfect spot to fit, fit the filter, it's just here, it's at the back of where all the drawers sit, you'll notice the runners here. So we'll, we'll start screwing it in now. So I've got the filter bracket here, it sits on the side of the cupboard and I'm going to screw it in using three screws positioned here, here and here. And that's the first step. So. That's, that's attached now, it's good and firm, so you, know, you see it doesn't move. The next stage is to cut into the water pipe so we can feed the water in and out of this filter here. So now we've cut the pipe, we're going to insert these elbow clips into each end of the pipe. And all they do is they push in to allow you to hit, hook up the hose to the filter. So if we push that in there, good and firm, and then we'll make sure it's secure with this Jubilee clip that you, you'll need to source yourself. I've attached the elbow clips and firmly secured them in place with some Jubilee clips. So all that remains is to screw the hose into the elbow clip, just like that, and then attach it to the filter on the wall, making sure that the hose leading from the water system goes into the in tray and the hose leading up to the tap goes into the out. So this is the fat filter canister and all we need all that remains to do is to take the top off and simply push up and screw it into the, the holder.
like so. So now the system's installed, all that, info, all that we need to do is switch on the tap and enjoy a nice cold glass of filtered water. Now we've installed the water purifier, now there's no more need for cumbersome bottles of water that, that pollute the environment, take up a lot of unnecessary space. All you, all you have is pure drinking water wherever you're motoring, anywhere in Europe, anywhere in the world.